Russell won't be dead about you. Looks like you're right after all. After all, I doubt a normal human would be able to lift that thing and put it inside of the vent. We're trying to see what's causing that. I don't know why, but it seems like the animatronics are getting more crazy each night. That's really creepy. And speaking of that, we finally got Dipsy to work. We would definitely want to keep him away from your office. He's not like the others. For some reason, he seems to damage almost every equipment he gets close to. So you know the disaster that it would be if he gets close to you, huh? He seems to be moved better in the darkness, so you will try to get your office by the dining room for sure. The room doesn't have light, after all, but he seems to have a problem with high temperatures. Having this in mind, we added a heater system where you can turn it on or off by camera too. But I don't recommend you keeping it on for too long since if the heater overheat, it will activate the fire alarm and it will be unable to be used until it cools down completely. But since if he has a problem with high temperatures, you can use the heater when Dipsy's in the dining room. However, I recommend you wait as long as you can turn on the heater. Why? Since you can't keep the heater on for too long and since the heater is right outside the right door, so if you wait until Dipsy is almost entering the office, the heater will be more efficient. He will probably leave twice faster than normal, giving you time for the heater to cool down before you try to off again. Well, there's a problem. The camera tube is broken, so you can't see how close he is, but you can still be able to hear him. Try and hear him for, I don't know, footsteps or something like that. The louder it is, the closer he's entered your room. Remember, don't let me get inside of your office, and I think that's all to tell you. So good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.